Hi, I'm Garrett with IDC Woodcraft. I was asked the other day, how do you find the corner of a round board on your CNC router and get that zero position? So I'm gonna show you how to do that. <laughs> Let's do this, this is really quick. Now I don't have a round board to show you with, but I have a round sanding disc, so I'll do it that way. If you notice on the bed of my router, I have a grid cut. I highly recommend you cut a grid on your router and you'll see why as I'm showing you this. With your grid, you can put one part of your circle on one of the lines, the other part of your circle on the other grid line, which is hard for you to see because of the lighting. It's right here. There. And there and you know the diameter of this and because you know that grid point is right there and in this case this is a two by two grid so I go two four six to my last grid so that is six inches up and it is what two inches over so my corner is right there and then if I want to set my job off this, that grid, I already know the diameter of the project, so then I just put in my controller to move over Y, half the diameter, and X, half the diameter, and it'll be centered up on the project. So that's how easy it is to set a circle up. To learn about grids, why you want them, and how to design it, go to the link down below in the description, or the flag will pop up right here. And then you'll know how to set up a grid. If this is helpful, give me a thumbs up and a comment. <laughs> Actually, just go to that video and watch. This is Garrett. I'll talk to you next time. Happy CNCing.